I want to teach you another technique, and that's what I call the instant focusing technique. Mm -hmm. I already mentioned that the reason why we can see so well in the sun and the reason why we can focus much better after we've been doing sunning is of, because of this um, uh, effect of the pupil uh -huh, being smaller, the iris being able to make the pupil smaller. Yes. And uh, why does it allow us to focus much better? Well, because when the pupil is smaller, the part of the eye that is stimulated with light is smaller as well. If you know anything about, um, about uh, the anatomy of the eye, well, you know that in the back of the eye, well, I'm going to use, um, it's a kind of a metaphor. I don't have my model of the eye, but we can use this. Let's imagine that this is um, the eyeball, yeah? So let's imagine that here is the pupil and the iris, and on the back we have the, um, the optic nerve, and all of this is the retina of the eye, yes? And the retina covers um, the inner part, of, actually it's inside the eye, but it covers most of the eye, and the closer it gets to the optic nerve, the more um, cones are uh, in the um, um, uh, light-sensitive cells, yes, in the photosensitive cells. And the cones are more able to capture small details, nuances, and colors. Uh -huh. So um, the, the wider part of uh, the eye has the other type of cells, um, the, the le baton. Uh -huh. And the closer we get to the optic nerve, the more cones there are. So the more the, our vision is precise. This part that's around, um, uh, this part that's at the, at the back of the, of the um, retina is called the macula. Uh, and that's the part where our eyesight is more precise. That's why when we have macular degeneration, our eyesight really is much, 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 much worse. Yeah, so the macula is actually a bit to the side of the optic nerve. The macula is where um, the most cones are. And within the macula, there is a space that's very, very small. It's as small as the head of, um, of a needle, really, really small, like two millimeters on two millimeters. And that really small part of the macula is called the fovea. And the fovea is where you have the most, um, yeah, the greatest amount of cones that are um, uh, crammed in there. So that's the most precise pixel that we have in our eyesight. So when the pupil is smaller, the part that is uh, stimulated in the eye is much smaller. So it concerns the macula. And the smaller it gets, the closer it gets to the fovea. And we have foveal sight, which is the highest quality of sight that we can have. So now I would like to uh, propose an exercise to you so that you can realize how well you can actually see. And this is what I call um, the instant focusing technique. And with this focusing technique, you're going to become aware of the quality of your own vision right now, even without doing anything else. So I would like to invite you to remove any contact lenses, if you had some, um, and any glasses, if, well, that's even easier. So you just, uh, yeah, you just have to remove them from your eyes. And you're going to make with your finger a very small hole, a hole that is almost imperceptible, the hole that is the size of the head of a needle and close one eye and you're going to look mm -hmm, through this very small hole mm -hmm, with you, the eye that's open. And if you look at details, you're going to see that you are able to see much, much better. You can look at small print, for example. Uh -huh. You can test it and you can see how well you can see. But you can also look at the far with this very little hole. And you're going to see that you are able to see details that you are not usually able to see. Mm -hmm. I would like to see if you are practicing or what are your comments on this. Uh, try this and let me know what are you seeing. Uh -huh. So if you practice this, you'll be amazed of how well you can see all the details. And when you're doing this, actually, you're using your own resources. The quality of your vision, when you look through this very small hole, is your own vision. Because you don't have any glasses in between. That's how well you are able to see. And why do you see that well? Because you are um, uh, 
uh, you are seeing with your foveal vision, with your central vision, because you are becoming aware of the highest quality of your own vision. So the good news is that if you're seeing much better with this instant focusing technique that I'm showing to you, this quality of vision is your own. So this is how well you are able to see. You can probably see even better than that because there's more techniques that we can use. But all the well that you can see looking through this very small hole is your capacity, your current capacity to see sharply, to see precisely. And maybe you're asking yourself, but why don't I always experience this quality of vision? Well, the answer is because you don't have good uh, habits of seeing. The way you look at the world, the, well, the way you, you use your gaze, you use your eyes, is not appropriate. But that's something that you can learn, you can transform, and you can create good habits. Uh -huh. So this instant focusing technique is very useful to become aware of your foveal vision. And this way you can signal to your brain, you can say to your mind, this is my quality of vision. I want you to find out how I can see like this all the time because I know I can see like this, yeah?